Hi guys, wish you all a very happy new year and welcome back to my channel English in a Blink and today we're going to talk about phrasal verbs. Well, if you're thinking once again, well today I'm going to be looking at phrasal verbs with two particles. Yes, and when phrasal verbs have two particles, they are inseparable. And if you don't understand what inseparable and separable phrasal verbs are, well, I have already made one video on that where I've explained everything in regards to phrasal verbs, when they are separable, when are they inseparable, what are transitive, what are intransitive, all of that. Okay, so there will be a link in, you know, in the description. So you can definitely have a look if you don't know that already. So like I said, today I will be looking at phrasal verb with two particles. And the first one in that is come up with. Okay, so this is the first phrasal verb when you say come up with, that means when you, you know, that means to find or produce. Okay, so we need to come up with a solution. All right, so when you have to come up with something, that means you have to find something, you have to produce something. So like I said with the example, we need to come up with a solution. So, you know, you have a problem, you are dealing with a problem in your office, anywhere, and then you, you know, you have to come up. So you're like, okay. Now, this cannot go on. We have to come up with something. We have to come up with a solution. Okay. Then the second one is your get away with. Okay. So when you get away with something, that means you have escaped some kind of a punishment. Okay. So let's say the robbers, they robbed a bank and got away with it. Mm -hmm. That's too bad, isn't it? Yeah, but they did. Okay. okay. So the third one is go in for. Okay, so when you say you go in for something, that means to do something because you enjoy it. Okay, so with an example, I don't really go in for playing football. Okay, and you don't really go in for playing football. That means you don't enjoy that. Okay, so when you go in for something, that means to do something because you enjoy it. Okay, moving on. The next one is get round two. Okay, so when someone, you know, says get round to, that means to find the time to do something. Okay, that's when you get round to. So I never seem to be able to get round to tidying up my room. Okay, so when you get round to something, that means, you know, you, you have to find time to do something. And when you're not, you know, you never seem to get round to tidying up, that means you're not getting time to tidy up your room. Okay. Then the next one is go down with, okay? So when you go down with something, that means you've become ill, okay? So, so many people have gone down with COVID this year, okay? So when you go down with something, that means you've become ill, all right? So the next one is go through with, okay? So go through with, that means to do something you promised to do even though you didn't really want to do it, okay? So, I mean, you promised to do something and then you were like, okay, I promise, so I will go on and just do it, even though you didn't want to do it in the first place, all right? So that's when you go through with the plan. So she went through with the wedding, even though she had doubts. I mean, that's not a, I mean, intelligent thing to do, but she went through with the wedding, even though she had doubts. All right, I always tell all of you all, whenever you are using your phrasal verbs, do not forget to, con you know, you have to conjugate it to according to the tense that you are using. So the phrasal verb is go through with, and when we are using it, oh, she, you know, she went through with, okay? So mm -mm, go, went, gone, this is your, the verb go is a regular verb, so go, went, gone, so that's why went through with, do not forget that. Okay, then the next one is live up to. So when you live up to something, that means to do or behave as you are expected to do. Okay, so she lived up to her expectation of being a hard boss. Okay, so she was uh, really, I mean, she, we, before she came to join in, everybody was talking, oh, you know what, there's a new person who's coming and she has a reputation of being very, very strict. And when she actually came in, they were like, oh, okay, she's living up to her expectations, okay? So we all thought that she's going to be a very strict, hard boss, and that's what she is, okay? So live up to. All right, moving on, the next one is look up to. So when you look up to someone, that means you admire and respect someone. So, I mean, who is that you look up to, people? 
is right in the comment okay so she look uh, she looks up to her father i actually look up to my father okay as well so yeah so that's when you look up to someone that means you actually respect that person okay you admire then the next one is put down to okay so when you put down to something that means you think uh, something is caused by a factor okay so you are thinking about something okay why does why did this happen so you are you know you are thinking about what caused something all right and then you are you know just something you are thinking about to think something is caused by a factor so let's say the failure can be put down to a lack of preparation okay so let's say you you know you pitched in uh, for some project and you you quoted there was like okay we're also pitching in and then you did not get that project okay you did not get that so then you guys you know you are thinking like what happened what, like why didn't it work like wh what went wrong so we can put down to this so the failure can be put down to lack of preparation that means we did not prepare well and that is the reason so you know this is what you came up with so put down to lack of preparation so this is what is the reason why we didn't get that okay so that's when put down to and the last one for today is stand up for okay so when you stand up for something that means to defend someone or something and we all should stand up for our rights okay so this was the last one like i said i hope it, it was helpful and like i said these are all the phrasal verb where two particles like you can see and these are inseparable so if you don't know what inseparable phrasal verbs are there's the one that i've already done is in the link so you can go ahead and have a look at that one as well so that's it for today. Until we meet next time, it's bye for now. And do not forget to like and subscribe. Come on, people. You have to do that. Okay. See you.